Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and use camera keys for Omniverse. It's an extension that allows you to move the camera around and create fly-throughs, and it's I think it's pretty neat, so you can tell me if you like it. Go to Windows, Extensions, and then click on Third Party. By the way, make sure you're on Layout Animation before you do this, because if you switch to Layout Animation after you load it, it'll disappear. So now I'm just going to type in camera to kind of filter the list a little bit. And here you got datajuggler.camera keys. You should see an install button here. I've already got it installed. So just click on install and then after it installs, click on this to enable the extension. You don't have to do this part, but I usually dock the extension over here. Now the first thing to use this uh, extension is you need to make sure the root of your project is called world and then you need to have a camera named camera at the uh, world location. So just come over here to perspective. Um, I don't actually have a camera yet. So click on perspective, create from view and that will create a camera named camera. It needs to be at this path. It needs to be forward slash world forward slash camera. And then I've got my project set up here with 3600 frames and I'm using 60 frames per second, but you should be able to use whatever you like. All right, now the first thing I want to do here, this is this little resort scene that I got from Tomorrow World Studios. Uh, had a YouTube video for it yesterday, so I thought it would make a good little demo for this. So I want my camera to stay still for about a second and a half and then I want it to kind of move over to the right. So I'm going to click on set keys and what that does, it will it sets six keyframes so it sets your the camera translate XYZ and rotation XYZ and then I'm going to go to frame 90. You always need to go to the frame before you move your camera into place. Okay, so I'm going to uh, set keys again, so that will just keep the camera still for about a second and a half. Now I'm going to go to frame 360, and I want the camera to kind of move over to the right. So what I'm going to do is set this to about 500, and click this twice, and I might scroll forward just a little bit. The slider kind of tells it how much uh, movement to do. So we'll click on set keys. And it'll, you can see there it says, it should say the frame number every time. Now what I want to do is move the camera forward a little bit. So we'll go forward a couple times. That's probably good. And now I want to make this turn. And I will tell you sometimes um, Omniverse wants to spin the camera the wrong way, but I'll show you how to fix it if it happens. So I'm going to go to about frame, oh, we'll go to 960. And I'm going to make this turn, and I happen to know that uh, Z is what spins the camera, so I'm going to spin my camera. I should have done 90 degrees, so I'm going to go to about 85 there, just to kind of get my camera. And now I want to move to the left a little bit. So I want my camera to be kind of like this. You can either move it manually or use these buttons, whichever you like. And I'm going to set my camera to here. And now what I want to do is kind of move forward and go by this little pizza place over here. So we'll go to about frame uh, 1260 and I'll move forward a couple times. And I want to kind of spin towards the uh, little pizza place a little. So I'll kind of spin this way just a little. That's probably fine. And I'll click set keys. Okay, now what I want to do is kind of spin back the other way a little bit. So I'm going to go to frame, oh, we'll go to about 1620. And I'm going to kind of come back this way, move forward a few times. Let me get my grid off. I didn't realize my grid and lights are probably showing. Okay, so we'll get to about here. I'm going to go up a little bit and click set keys. And now I'm going to make another turn. But before we do that, I want to make sure what we've done so far spins the right way. So let's do a little preview before we go too far. So we should stay here for about a second and a half. Anytime you turn, it's probably a good idea to preview it to make sure it spins the right way. Okay, I found if you use the little buttons, it spins a little better the right direction. Okay, so we're looking good so far. I just wanted to kind of get an idea of what we're doing. 
before we go any further. Okay, and now the camera should kind of stop there. We'll stop it again and go back to... This time we're going to go to about frame 2160. And what I want to do is make the turn here. So we're going to go 90 degrees. Go left. And we're going to go forward a little bit. Okay. And we'll click set keys there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what we're going to do is go down to about oh, 2580. And we'll go kind of down towards the end here. And now we're going to set keys. And then I'll come back around at about, say, 2940. And I want to spin to the right again, so. And we'll go left a couple times. All right, that looks OK. And we'll click Set Keys. And now we're going to preview that from where we were at, make sure all those turns did as we want before we go any further. No, see, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes it wants to spin the wrong way, and I'm not really sure why, but it's an easy way to fix it, I think. I got to go to our, let's see. Why are we not going to the next key frame? Where is that? I need to be on 2160 is where we were at here. All right, so selecting my camera and looking at our property window, it's on 180, and I'm going to, I think that needs to be negative 180, and we'll just see, and we'll see if that uh, does any better. All right, okay. So that was sometimes I don't really know why I think Omniverse just just looking for the the nearest one to that. Okay, now it's doing it again. So we're gonna go to our next frame, which I believe was around 25, 2540, I think was it. And then the uh, no, that was twenty five eighty. Sorry, no, it was a multiple of sixty. All right, and that had the camera, let's see. Okay, it's back to 180 again. That needs to be negative 180, so. All right, I'll try that again. I'll go here and go set key. And now we'll go to 2940. And I think that needs to be negative 90. Wait. That's not, it needs to be negative 270, is my guess. And we'll see. We'll play it back from 1600. So, I'm trying to see if there's a way I can uh, figure that out, but it's kind of a. Uh, I guess I'd have to keep track of where it was before. Okay, let me select this so we're not. Okay, so that seems to fix one so far. And let's see if it fixes this one. Okay. So, I mean, it, it works. It's just a little bit tricky to just kind of remember where your keyframes are. And then now we'll finish this out. Pausing the wrong thing. I paused my screen recorder. Okay, now from here, we'll go down to about, oh, three, 3,300. And we'll go over and go forward. And now what I want to do is spin to the uh, right again. And this time I'll just check our number. My guess is if we were at negative uh, 270, let's see what this number is for the camera. I'm going to click set keys, but I want to see what the number is anyway. Okay, that's back to zero. Let's see if that's right. We'll go back to 2700, and let's see if it's trying to... Okay, so it's going the wrong way. So that needs to be negative 360 on frame 3300. And it's kind of annoying having to do this, but it's still not too difficult to switch. So we'll just switch that to negative 360. 
and set key and we'll go back to about 2700 and see how this looks okay I kind of uh, it kind of that's right though all right and now we'll finish it just the last part is 3600 we'll just uh, pull forward a little bit all right and set keys and I'll make 3300 just a little more forward also because I think it'll make that movement a little smoother all right so let's watch the whole thing and this will be the end of the video so we'll run it and by the way thanks to Maddie from the video Maddie codes he wrote the uh, the math for the camera moving forward which showed me how to do the back and left and right so uh, kudos to him because without that that wouldn't exist more than likely he helped me with a lot actually so and now we're making the little spin and thanks to tomorrow world studio this is a cool little scene here I'll put the link to his video in the description and if you want to download this he did put a warning that some of this stuff might be copyrighted but I'm just using this for a little personal use video all right and now we're kind of just cutting through there kind of could have did that a little smoother but and now we just end up going forward so I think it's useful for creating little flight throughs and stuff, but I'll stop our little thing. All right, well, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.